So let's go ahead and start off with hydrocarbons, okay? We've talked about hydro hydrocarbons before, and these would be your single bonds, double bonds, and triple bonds, okay? There's actually more types of hydrocarbons than that, but these are the ones I want to focus on right now, okay? So um, we've been calling them single, double, triple. Now what I want you guys to refer them as to as is alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. The reason is because a double bond could exist between lots of different atoms. It could be a nitrogen-nitrogen double bond. That's not the same. So if you have a carbon-carbon double bond, you should be more specific, and you should say that that is an alkene. Okay, so you can tell all that's changing is really one letter, A, E, Y. Okay, so as you get further in the alphabet, you're adding more bonds. Not too bad. So I want to just say a few things about carbon structures before we get into a lot of functional groups, because if you understand the carbon structures really well, the other ones are going to be easy. First of all, it turns out that all carbon groups, regardless of their size, can be symbolized using what's called an R group. Okay, This is something that we use every single day in Orgo. All it means is this. Your R group is, pardon my French, the I don't give a shit about this part group. Okay, It means that you have a particular part of the molecule that you're focusing on, and everything else that you don't really care about, especially if this is a big molecule, you're just going to say, that's an R. Okay, That just means it's a carbon group that it could be 100 carbons long, I don't care about that part of the molecule, I'm just going to write an R instead. Cool? We use that literally every single day in Orgo. All right? Um, when an alkane is, this is, so this is a separate thing, when an alkane is attached to a greater carbon chain, it's given a YL suffix. Okay? So what that means is that an alkane, if it's a branch off of a bigger chain, it actually becomes an alkyl. Okay? So here I've shown you an example where I have a six carbon chain with a one carbon branch coming off of it. The biggest chain is going to be referred to as the alkane, whereas the smaller branch is going to be referred to as the alkyl. Okay? So that's something to keep in mind that you put that YL whenever it's a branch. Okay?